Good morning everyone, we're out in the Mini Electric on a bit of a road trip. Susan, who's driving, said to me that she's off for a haircut somewhere on the other side of Bury St Edmunds and can I take Michael, that's our Mini Electric? And I said of course you can, but when we checked the map, when we checked the map it said that it was 67 miles there, 67 miles back. Well, 67 miles plus 67 is 134. That's a bit too close to the full range, even in summer, which it's a nice dry day so far in the middle of summer. Um, Susan doesn't like the idea of charging. Um, she doesn't really use any apps, doesn't use any maps or anything like that, doesn't know where any of the charges are, so complete novice from that point of view, and hence would much rather have gone in the petrol car rather than charge the Mini. So of course uh, I've come with her today, um, so that we can take the Mini and prove to her that it will do it. Of course it will. It's Susan driving. And as we know, Susan's more economical than Nigel. So yeah, we were driving really slowly there on a dual carriageway because it was a 40 mile an hour limit. Bloody sat-nav talking over me, whatever next rude thing. So while we're along this trip, I'm going to try and pay attention to what she does differently to me to see how she manages to get better efficiency. Now turn left. Anyway, uh, this morning we woke up and the car had 97% battery, uh, that's where I left it from charging previously. Didn't quite charge it to 100%, so while we're out walking Cracker, I gave it a quick charge from the tiny bit of solar we had. I think we only had five or 600 watts, but also um, I was charging off our home storage battery, emptying that. And uh, before we are ready to go, which was only an hour away, we're fully charged. And the range, well, the range said 107 miles, then it said 96 miles, then it said 98, then it said 105. Obviously, every time I set sat nav, it changed its mind as to how many miles range we had. So, as per my previous videos, we have to ignore that number and just work on miles per kilowatt hour. And we're doing 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour, but um, hopefully that should improve along the journey. So if we get five miles per kilowatt hour, that's over 140 miles of range, so that should be fine. What I'm hoping for is anything above 4.7. So we should be good to go. It's a case It's a case of how much energy will we have when we get home and um, will I have to charge the car because I don't like leaving it on very low states of charge. Anyway, I'll update you along the journey as to how we're getting on. Okay, a little update while we've stopped at some traffic lights. Um, we've decided to take a slightly shorter route, a slightly slower route. So it's not three miles off the journey. Three miles the other way is six miles. That will give us a little bit more peace of mind. Uh, I'm quite confident we would make it anyway, but uh, we don't really want the anxiety. And uh, we're currently doing 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour. I've just been playing with the sat-nav, changing the destination to change the route where we're going, and of course it just dropped our range down from 100 miles down to 85. And uh, yeah, Susan's having a bit of a rant in the car about how silly is that and a naughty old Mini for not being very clever. So yeah, it is an ongoing concern, an ongoing um, problem that the sat-nav and the range doesn't work, but you just have to learn to get used to it and switch off from the anxiety of seeing a lower number than you'd like to see and uh, that's that's all really so a nice slow leisurely journey we're going to get there with um, a good 10 minutes to spare from the appointment and hopefully miles per kilowatt hour will go up to at least five miles per kilowatt hour the only thing i can see with susan's oops lots of bumps the only thing i can see with susan's driving that um, is definitely different to mine when i'm driving normally is she's very gentle accelerating so she pulls away the same as me but then accelerates up to say 50 miles an hour much slower than i would so very gentle easing on the speed maybe that's the key 
What's it like being watched, my darling? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just driving. <laughs> I haven't really, I haven't really registered. You're not filming my fat legs, are you? <laughs> no, darling. <laughs> I've just been checking on uh, PlugShare and uh, ZapMap for where the charges are that we could go to if we chose to. And uh, surprise, surprise, there's um, an Instavault not too far away. But again, we would have to drive out of our way to get to it. Um, there's several other charges available, but they're all ones that require apps and logins and RFIDs that we just don't have access to and have never used before. So not the sort of charger that I would feel comfortable comfortable going to, knowing that I need a charge. But there is a wonderful pot point at a Tesco, so we could take a slightly detoured route on the way home and go via Stowe Market and there's a free pot point there and we could have a little bit of a top up while we picked up some shopping. So there are lots of options, there's no anxieties, no concerns and uh, everything's good. Yeah, well, One, one of these days though we'll have to try some of these charges that we keep avoiding just to see if they're any good or not or whether they really are worth avoiding because they're difficult but I'm lazy I always like to go for the things that are easy oh. Susan waving to an electric car it's funny she criticizes me when I'm a, in the driving seat what are you waving at them? they never see and now she's driving she's waving at them too well done <laughs> So the range left on the car says 82, but that's less important. That's 81% of battery. And uh, we've done 31, oh goodness, mind the poles. We've done 31 miles. That was a mini behind us. So, so far so good. <laughs> I really had a, wish I had a camera mount for this rather than hold it in my hands. It's, uh, it's quite hard to hold steady. Um, did you want it in eco mode? I don't know what I'm in eco mode. Well, if you've, have you set the switch? I don't look at things like that. <laughs> so no, it always starts in normal mode. No. So you never drive in eco mode? Probably not. Unless you've set it for me. Let's put it, let's put it in green eco mode what's, then. What's green plus? That's where it stops all the air conditioning and stuff. We don't need to worry about that. So should I get better economy now? Yeah, because it'll help smooth your throttle even more. Can't hurt, anyway. What does the uh, battery say? 77% of battery, 78 miles of range, which again we'll keep ignoring, 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour, and we've travelled 37 miles. So we've got uh, another 26 to go, and then 63 back. We've got 89 miles left to go, and even the range is getting quite close to that. It's only 12 off, so or 11 off, so not too bad. Being a local, Susan has just taken her own detour and ignored the sat-nav and taken us on a scenic route through Bury St Edmunds. And it hasn't saved us any distance um, from what I can see on the distance left to go according to the sat-nav, but uh, miles per kilowatt hour, now up to five. So all's going well. The Mini does like city driving, that's for certain. Next observation on Susan's driving style is breaking at the last moment at roundabouts. Now normally I would say why don't you anticipate them, but hey, if that's what works and that's what gets better efficiency, I'll have to give it a go. So I've just spent the last quarter of an hour trying to work out what that green line is around the 42 miles an hour on the speedo. It goes white um, when you're in normal mode or green when you're in uh, eco mode, green mode, but um, it does go 
smaller when we're going slower and seems to rise up to the halfway point when we're going a bit faster so I can't find what it is I've been looking at the online guide and the guide that's with the mini app and I cannot find what that green line that green ring means so if you're watching this video and you know what that green ring is leave me a comment and uh, let me know I'd really appreciate it 5.1 Cars parked there for some reason. Yeah, well, it's a church. There might be a thing going on at the junction. This is like the top of Long Melford. Of sculptures. Tesla. <sighs> okay, so, what's the name of the place we're at now? This is Long Melford. Long Melford. Very pretty. Well, Long Melford is more Very right English, right. isn't it? Yes. So wow, Susan's now slowed down with lots of 30 mile an hour limits and we're up to 5.2 miles per kilowatt hour and the roads have dried out so um, we're doing quite well. 63% of battery left, the range now says 73 miles which is wonderful and we've only got two miles to go until we reach our destination and it looks like Google Maps and the car sat nav were spot on, it is going to be 63 miles. So what on earth were we worrying about, eh, Susan? Will it make it or won't I'm it? Will I have to charge? I'm still not convinced. Well, we've only got two miles to go and you've got 63%. And if you only used 47%, you're going to be back with 20% spare at this rate, comfortably. So we shall see. got to say, as a passenger, it's really comfortable. Good. Yeah, helps having a good chauffeur. Good old moped slowing us down. Well, I hope this video comes out okay with me holding it by hand. It's a little bit jerky and bumpy, but we're doing our best. Okay, so we've arrived at our destination. 62% of battery left, 72 miles of range left, 5.2 miles per kilowatt hour. So absolutely plenty. Uh, with 12% left, we could even have 24% left when we get home. Okay, you join us back on the route home. Um, we left probably a good half an hour or so ago, but uh, time for an update. We've got 35% of battery left. We have 5.4 miles per kilowatt hour because the temperature's gone up. It's, uh, well, it says 22 degrees C now, so it's a, it's a lovely blue sky summer's day now. The range says 34 miles to go, and we have, let's have a look. Matching 34%. 19 miles to go so we are going to have 15 miles left according to the computers at the moment but I suspect we're going to have maybe up to another 10 miles more than that because 5.4 to 5.5 miles per kilowatt hour that should be a range of 155 miles um, and we're only going to have them driven 125 ish so that should leave us a good 25 maybe even 30 miles left in theory so again it'll be interesting to see what the um, GOM the miles to go says by the time we get back and how it's adjusting but anyway efficiency is going well um, I have been driving just for a little bit and uh, Susan's back in the driving seat now to get the best economy on the way home and there we go we've arrived back having traveled 128 miles that's the longest distance we've traveled in the mini without having to charge 5.6 miles per kilowatt hour at an average speed of 36.7 and we've still got 24 percent of the battery left and 30 miles of range so i underestimated i thought we'd have about 20 left but 30 miles of range left so yeah on a peak summer's day like this if you're not in a hurry 150 maybe even 160 miles is possible in this mini electric anyway i hope you enjoyed this little trip with us uh, all about the data and the range i think it's proved to us that we can go further than we thought in summer at least hmm.